Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday which means I am going to talk about books yet again and the sun is shining directly on me right now like there's literally a little path of sunshine and it's right on me. So if I look extremely pale or if the sun keeps going in and out that's why um, and if I start to get a sunburn we all know why. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about the books that I read in the month of November. I almost said this month, but it's December now. But uh, two of the books I don't actually have with me. I did leave them in Florida just because my uh, bag was already super heavy, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so those two books I don't actually have with me. One of them was called Third Woman. I did receive it in a monthly subscription service. And I think I already reviewed it. Yeah, I did, but I hadn't finished it at that point. So it was like a half review. Uh, but I really liked that book. It was about um, these three women that go missing. And one of them, her sister, is a reporter and she starts to investigate it. And it's a murder mystery, so naturally I would like it. Would definitely recommend if you like murder mysteries. I didn't know what to anticipate with it going in when it comes to those kinds of things that try not to like read the synopsis or anything because I just don't want to know when it comes to murder mysteries or thrillers or things like that. Uh, and then the other book was part of the Pretty Little Liars series and I think it was just called Pretty Little Liars. I'm gonna put the books down below by the way and this is the last book I had to read in the Pretty Little Liars series. I was trying to finish it before 2018 and um, they're pretty easy books to go through if you're looking into them. Now the sun is like shining even more. Whoa. Hi. Um, that distracted me. I could feel the sunburn. But it is a pretty e easy series to go through. So if you're looking into it, it doesn't take a lot of time. And um, I quite enjoyed it. The books are definitely different than the TB series. I think I actually prefer the books in all honesty. Um, I did watch the TV series from the very beginning and it, it's just very different than the books. But um, yeah, would definitely recommend if you are into that, if you feel like you need more Pretty Little Liars in your life after the series ended. Uh, and then the books that I actually have, the first one is Sabriel, and this is part of a series. And I don't have the other two books. I think there are two more books in this series. And I'm kind of sad about it because I keep thinking about this book. It's one of those. And it's about uh, this girl. I will say a lot of the names in here are kind of hard to pronounce. I'm not going to lie. But um, <laughs> the main character in this book, her um, dad goes missing and she, oh, it's so hard to explain because it's in a different world and she travels to this place called the Old Kingdom and uh, she can travel through death. She's a necromancer and so she's trying to find her father and she just has a lot of different obstacles, obviously, when you're dealing with um, that kind of stuff. And it's really hard to explain because it is a whole different world. There are things that won't make sense to you if I just start naming off things because you have to actually read it and be in the series. It's like if you try to explain um, Lord of the Rings to somebody who's never watched it or read the books, a lot of things won't make sense because it's its own separate world. And that's how I feel about this one. But um, there's a lot of magic and things involved with this. She actually went to a magical school as well. And I'm just drawn to those kinds of books naturally and I was kind of on a fantasy kick. I feel like I still kind of am but um, yeah really enjoyed this book. Definitely need to get the other ones in the series because I keep thinking about this. The other fantasy book I read this month is called Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth and this is the same author that wrote the Divergent series. I did like the Divergent series at least the books. I didn't see all the movies. I saw the first two I want to say. How many are there? Um, so I think there were more movies than books. Now I look yellow. What is my lighting doing? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's distracting me so much how the sun is doing this. But um, this actually has another 
book coming out, the sequel is coming out next year. I don't think there's actually an official release date because I did look it up because I loved this. I threw, I, I threw what? I flew through this book. It was really good. It is also set in a different world and it kind of gave me Star Wars vibes because uh, you had a bunch of different uh, planets and societies on those planets and they have something called the current which reminds me of the force and everybody has something called the current gif and everybody's gif is gift i'm not saying that right <laughs> gift is different and uh it's so hard to explain without going into things but you have these two characters that are from different societies uh that are thrown together and it's just really interesting reading through it and it's so hard to explain. I will say a lot of the characters in this, their names are very, very, very similar or like just hard to pronounce. Like I don't know how to pronounce these people's names at all. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, so when I first started reading it, I was like, wait, who is this? Who is this? It was a little confusing at first, but I think it's probably because I started reading it at like three in the morning because I just really wanted to read it. But I uh, would definitely recommend this one. Uh, the next one I read is called Shopaholic and Sister. This is part of the Confessions of a Shopaholic series. This is another series that I am trying to finish before 2018. Um, and I did actually like the movie. I think it has a horrible rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but I don't care. Um, and this is kind of like, huh, lost my voice. This is kind of like the Pretty Little Liar series where it is kind of an easier read, it's easier to get through, but I still really enjoy it. It's very light hearted and um, I think her character is really funny to be honest. But um, yeah, I definitely like this series and I'm almost done with it now. And then the last book I have, I also got in a subscription service and it's called Eternal Sonata. And um, this is a book where I didn't think I was going to like it in a lot of see, even though it is a thriller and there is um, murder mystery involved and it is set in the near future. And I don't know why I didn't think I was going to like this. Maybe it's because it's a near future thing and that's not normally what I go with. But um, I really enjoyed this book. You have scientists that are going missing and um, our main character is trying to find out what is going on. He feels like the um, police aren't really doing what they're supposed to, aren't really investigating it. So he starts investigating it on his own, starts to get himself in a little bit of trouble naturally. Um, and I just thought it was really interesting. Again, since it is a thriller, I don't want to say too much about it. But um, this book I actually read in a day. Like I could not put this book down. I just, it was just so interesting. I actually liked that this was set in the near future and I normally don't like books like that. So I think that says a lot about it. And I just thought the concepts in this were really interesting and would definitely recommend if you are into kind of murder mystery books that have kind of, I wouldn't say sci-fi, but I mean, it's heading in that genre. But um, yeah, definitely liked that one. So in total, I read six books this month. I don't know why I felt like I had read more um, when I was going through what I read this month. Maybe it's because some of these books are a little bit bigger and I also just started the Mortal Instruments series, which um, I just started yesterday and I'm already like halfway through the book. I, I'm, I'm addicted now. So I can see why people like that series, but um, yeah, that is it for this month. Um, I don't think six books is that bad, honestly. I usually average six to 10 books a month. Um, I think with my traveling and what's not in November, it definitely affected how much I was reading. I got the hiccups now. <laughs> Let me know down below what books you guys have been enjoying lately. If you think there are any books that I should check out. Um, I have hundreds of books, but I mean, could always use more. Uh, so I hope you did like this video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.